Hi, I'm Ken Sainsbar with Colorado Fast Pitch Academy. Today, I will be discussing how to properly frame a ball as a catcher. The first thing that you need to have is a good stance. A good catcher stance is something that I talked about in one of my other videos. The setup position involves having your heels down and your feet apart so that you have a good balanced position and can be able to move very freely to the ball. Once you are in your setup position, framing is simply about bringing the ball back over home plate. Framing will help make your pitcher's pitch look better, but it also helps you to be less likely to drop it and to have tip-offs. Tip-offs are where the ball hits the glove and tips off the end. Some people will tell you that you should only frame a pitch if it's a bad pitch, but I think you should frame every pitch. That way the umpire can't tell the difference. If it simply becomes a style in which you catch the ball, they will never know which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones. For example, if I'm going to frame from my right side as a left-handed catcher, I'm going to straighten my elbow and then move my glove back towards home plate. You move your wrist to frame the ball, not your arm. You do not yank it in to bring it back over home plate. That is too obvious of a movement and it can take too long to do. When you go from the left side, same thing. Straighten the elbow, catch around the ball, moving the wrist. High ones, up, coming down from either side, depending on if it was to the left or to the right. Low ones, same thing, framing upward from either the right or the left, depending on the location of the pitch. The main goal is to always bring the ball back over home plate. If you get good enough, you'll learn that this is how you catch the ball, and you'll frame everything. Good pitches, bad pitches, wild pitches, and then as a result, you'll be less likely to drop them out of your glove and have tip-offs, as I said before. When I go to move into position, I start in my signal position. Once I move into my setup position, I'll normally be on a corner. For example, right now I'm on an inside corner for a right-handed batter. My glove will start in front of my chest. As the pitch comes in, I will extend my elbow outward to it. If it comes to this side, my left side, then I will catch it with a straight elbow and frame it back over home plate. You'll notice that where I would have caught it, it would have been a ball, but by moving my wrist, the end of my glove, where the ball is, is now over the corner of the plate. I have now moved it into the strike zone using just my wrist. The same thing can happen on the opposing side. Outside corner for a right-handed batter, I go to the right side of my body, catching the ball and moving my wrist back to the over home plate. When framing, you always want to frame back over home plate, even if you don't get it quite to home plate. The motion should only be done with the wrist. So if I have to catch all the way out here to catch a ball, I still will move my wrist back towards home plate to keep the ball in my glove, but it doesn't quite get over home plate. When a pitch is perfect, it's coming directly at your glove and you don't even have to move to catch it. You still want to extend your elbow in the frame in one of the directions because you don't want the umpire to know the difference between a good pitch and a bad pitch. If you only frame the bad ones, you will always know. Depending on which corner you're set up for will change how you frame if the ball is dead center of your body. If you're set up on the inside corner for a right-handed batter and the pitch comes in dead center, you will frame from the left because that keeps the ball more over home plate. If I framed right, it would take it away. But the opposite is true on the other corner. When I am centered on the outside corner for right-handed batter, I want to make sure that when I extend my elbow, I frame from the right side. Because if I frame left, it's going to make the pitch look worse. You can practice framing very easily by simply placing a ball in your glove and going to the different locations and moving your wrist back side to side and practicing having it in there. It's one thing to frame, but to keep a ball in your glove squeezing it closed while doing so is more difficult. There's a lot more to framing and there's a lot more to being a catcher. So if you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.
www.softballwebsite.com.